Hi, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. And this is Megan with Believe in the Run. And today we are talking about on running's Cloud Surfer. Hang 10, Meg. We are talking about the on Cloud Surfer and we're really excited. The real news is everything that's below this upper, but we like to start the upper and work our way down. First off, what kind of shoe is this? So this is a daily trainer from On. I've actually been opting out of testing On shoes the past couple of years just because I didn't love the speed board in all of these shoes. It was really firm, was not for me, but so this is really exciting because that's no longer here. But we'll get into that in a second. This upper is also, I feel like, quite a departure from On's traditional shoes. Maybe it's got more cushioning, yeah. but it looks, it has the On look. Yes, aesthetics are on point as they always are with On, but there is just a lot more padding and this feels more like a traditional daily trainer. Yeah, so let's start. We've got a two-ply engineered mesh upper. You got that puffy tongue that Megan's talking about. I kind of love this little stay over the top of the laces with these like stylized text on it. So I'm digging all that. You've got some of those on features that you expect like the sewn pieces here that hold your laces in over the throat. The vamp is pretty open and airy. Comfort wise, the heel counter, heel collar, tongue combo really does give you that plush step and feel. Yeah, the step and feel is great and out on the roads it feels really great as well. So I felt like this was true to size and it really accommodated my wide foot well. I know you have a narrow foot, so how did you feel this upper fit? I did feel it was a little roomy. I didn't hate it, but it was a little roomy on my, on my foot. Yeah, so I really liked that. I definitely think if you have a higher volume foot, a little wider, you're definitely gonna like this fit. It probably will change the way you feel about how the rest of the shoe works together. But for me, it worked okay, it was fine. I, I would love it a little bit tighter, but I'm not gonna take off any points for that. It fit well. I didn't get any hot spots. There was no heel lift fit true to size. Overall, I think it's really nice looking. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up on the upper. Honestly, it might be one of my favorite uppers right now of all the shoes we're testing. Whoa, so that's something. A plus for there. Underneath the foot though, that's where all this all jazzy, news. fancy technology is happening. First thing, you already mentioned it, they got rid of the speed board. I did not like the speed board. I felt like it was always harsh under the foot. It wasn't something that made me feel like it was propelling me forward, but that's how they had to attach the cloud tech on there. And the cloud tech was a proprietary technology that you're gonna see in shoes like previous shoes like cloud surfers before. This is like the sixth or seventh version. Seventh. This is the seventh version and they're kind of rebooting it. It's just the cloud surfer yeah. again. We're starting over, which honestly, pretty good this thing. Is, yeah, this is the time to do it. So we got rid of that speed board, which gives the shoe an immediate better foot uh, experience. Step in, but what you really see here is this new technology, and I'm gonna do it with my hand here, but you can see it compresses all the way through. These little things kind of act like coils in a spring mattress and kind of go forward. What do they call this, Meg? Yeah, so this is the cloud tech phase. They talked about how they did a bunch of research using AI and then paired that with runners, foot strike, and there's a whole bunch of jargon listed about what actually went on here. But I just have to say, it's such a vast improvement from the cloud tech technology that we're used to. And this actually does finally catch up with the name cloud. It does. Like you do feel this is soft. It collapses. You can see when I was showing you with my hand there that the midsole collapses. And as you go through the stride, and it's a bit of a rockered shape. As you go through, you feel it compress under your foot and then release back up. I wouldn't call it springy, but definitely like cushioned. And it, I, I really did like the way that it the sensation of going through the shoe was something different than I had experienced before. I did think it was pretty responsive. It's funny because I've been craving these softer cushioned shoes and that's exactly what we have here. But I don't know if it's the airy formulation here or if it's the stack is maybe just a little bit lower than what I'm used to, but I felt like it maybe lacked a little something out on the roads and I got some ground feel and maybe I didn't love that. To me, I don't know that it was ground feel that you're feeling. I feel that it is the collapsing of the pods. 
that you're feeling that there's there's a sensation that maybe you're not used to. The only knock I would give against it is the midsole isn't as stable as maybe I'm used to. Like because these collapse, depending on where your weight's coming down, it collapses in a different way. So I found that most of the time it was the least stable when I was walking, but since I'm a midfoot to four foot striker, as I was running, I really didn't notice it that much at all. But if you were a heel striker and you had any pronation at all, I think this shoe might give you some trouble. Yeah, I agree completely. I do think that if you require any sort of stability, you might struggle with this one a bit. However, one of the redeeming qualities here, this is one of the lightest daily trainers we've tested in a while. It's My women's light. seven and a half came under seven ounces, 6.98 which is, we're talking race day light at that point. US size 10 and a half was 9.1 ounces or 258 grams. I mean, it is pretty interesting too. You have such a substantial upper with all this padding and it's still so light, but I think that is because there's just not much underfoot. Yeah, the one thing that I would watch out for, now we've got over 20 miles in each of our pair. I'm wondering how long this compression is gonna last, if it's gonna last for hundreds of miles. I know Robbie's gonna jump in here in a minute and he's gonna give his opinion. He's probably gonna take it to the full 100 just so we can get back to you to say how the midsole holds up. The other thing that I would give a little knock on the shoe is the rubber on the outsole. So you've got a lot of exposed area you can see here on the bottom and you have rubber on the toe and rubber in the heel. And while it's a thick rubber that's gonna be durable, I didn't feel like it had a like a bite to the grip on the toe off. Yeah, I didn't notice, like it wasn't an issue, I wasn't slipping around or anything like that, but I, di I also didn't feel like it was super, you know, it's not that Puma grip. As far as the ride goes, I really enjoyed running in this shoe. I think it has a really nice soft bounce, rolls through the stride, and uh, I, I can't really fault much on this shoe. And normally, we used to pan uh, the ons. The only thing, you didn't get to run in the Monster, and that was supposed to be like a max cushion style shoe. I actually feel like this is softer than the Monster. This is the softest on that I've run in. I can pretty much reiterate everything Thomas said. I enjoyed the ride. Like I said, it was maybe just lacking a little bit of that structure for my preference, um, but otherwise it's a really solid daily trainer. We're gonna bring Robbie in, but before we do, Megan, can you give your light for the shoe? This one's definitely getting a green light for me. This is such a step in the right direction for On, and it makes me excited to see what else is coming in 2023. Yeah, this is definitely, if this is a taste of what On's coming down the pipe, and we saw some of the stuff at the running event, I think we're gonna be excited this year with what's coming out from On. All right, so let's bring Robbie in. Get out of here, Meg. All right, so Robbie. Yeah. Give a little back history on how we dumped ons on you to review because the rest of us didn't want to. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, when I first started here, I became the de facto on reviewer and much to my, I guess, surprise at the moment, uh, despite the marketing behind the shoe, none of the shoes felt like running on clouds to me. I always felt like the construction and materials were nice, super super high quality. Swiss. Um, yeah, and they looked good, but just underfoot, man. It was always a struggle. And of course, like with the Cloud Monster, it seemed like things were changing for the good. And I always said, we always said, if they got rid of that speed board, which we already covered in here, man, I feel like they could do something. And good news, they, this is a game changer, I feel like. And they're in heading in the right direction for sure. Right before this interview, I saw you out on the roads today. You're doing what, 13 miles? Did I look good? You always look good. <laughs> it's the mustache. It's just like a wind spoiler yeah, for your face. I, I was like, wow, where'd that guy come from? Yeah, I just keep loving this shoe. It's really, I don't know what it is. It's, I think it's partly the rocker, partly this like, soft feeling but also you still feel the ground kind of see and megan said turn. that i don't know about the ground i'm not feeling the ground maybe not the ground but just like the more of a the like a an, sensation yeah like an energy return like where you can kind of like feel it and then come back okay i thought the upper was just so comfortable and you got a good lockdown even though the lacing system's a little bit weird so, okay so meg asked me about the width of my foot because uh -huh. she has a wider foot and she thought it felt great I could go a little more narrow, but... Yeah, maybe a little bit more. I think I could agree with you on that. It does feel like a little bit of a wider shoe. And then on the run, I just felt like... It felt like I wanted to go a lot faster than I was expecting. And I 
ended up doing that and just kind of, I know we had like a really nice, some really nice weather days where you kind of want to pick it up and things like that. Pleasantly surprised. Definitely my favorite on shoe so far. So Robbie, we got Megan's light choice for the shoe. What's it going to be I for mean, you? Obviously it's going to be a green. Brandon's playing Pokemon Go on his phone. Didn't work. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just... Uh, work collecting Pokemon. Yeah. Um, Did you get Snorlax on there? I, I mean, right now, this would be in my top. The top? Top. Wow, you got three, a rock in it or something. Three to five. I did actually get a, oh, I do have a rock right in there. I got a rock in it the one time, like right between mm. clip clop and away. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've been fine. I really like this shoe. Did you guys say the perceived stack height on this yet? No, we haven't. Why don't you yeah, get it? Yeah, so with my very scientific measurement tool, it's a, we, I measured like 35 millimeters in the heel, 27 in the forefoot. So it's, I mean, give or take a millimeter here or there, eight millimeter drop, mm. but. Sounds about right. I think uh, most of the on shoes come in that eight millimeter. And we didn't mention, we talked about the Cloud Tech phase that's in here. We never mentioned the foam is the Helion foam, which is a pretty nice foam. I, I'm thinking it's EVA based, but it feels airy and bouncy and it's a fun shoe. I, yeah. I can't believe how little it weighs. I would have guessed a lot more, Right. but yeah. All right, so that wraps it up. I know, uh, anything else you want to tell people? No, I think that's it. All right, Just, uh, you know what to do. The like the channel and all that stuff, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. We're very passionate about it. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Make sure you follow us on all our social, social media. Listen to our podcast, The Drop, Feel for the Soul. All the links are in the description. What about checking out the new website? Check out our new website. Yeah, I know you mentioned it already, but there's a lot of good stuff on there. We'll have some nice photos, some nice review format. And the best way to always check up on us is the weekly email. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, just for Robbie's little piece at the bottom, it's worth it. There's a little editorial oh, each wow. week. Thank you. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I had a night. Nice, what'd you think of my John G and Wazil? I loved it. <laughs> I, I mean, it truly captured the essence. Yeah. Of, <laughs> of, of the lud ludicrous partnership. Anyway, that's it. And right. wham. Hey, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Megan with Blue. <laughs> I'm gonna start over. Oh, let's crack it up. Okay. Yeah, and Megan's laughing because she hit, hits me <laughs> when we're alone. <laughs> okay, don't say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to keep that. Yeah, you keep that. Um, See, it even collects things. I for do have me. a shelf at home of all the things I found on my run. No, that's cool. <laughs> I'm sure Kimmy loves it. <laughs> it's in the basement. <laughs> this is and this is my uh, this is my mantra to trash. I feel like my this mantra. is gonna be the outtake of it. Is Robbie having a shelf of what word was I looking stuff. for? What's a collection? Not a curio cabinet, but.